mother gave the State Board of Education a lesson in truth about critical race theory. Listen to this. It is sad that we are even contemplating something like critical race theory, where children will be separated by their skin color and deemed permanently oppressors or oppressed in 2021. That is not teaching the truth, unless you believe that whites are better than blacks. Telling my child or any child that they are in a permanent oppressed stat, uh, status in America because they are black is racist. Keisha King joins us now. Keisha, so happy to have you on the show. So I, I want to start directly with this because you make a point that is not highlighted often enough. People point out that critical race theory is racist for making white children believe they are oppressors. You point out from the opposite side how racist it is to teach black children that they are oppressed. Tell me more about that. Well, the essence of critical race theory is breaking people into groups. And instead of using class, because we are Americans, they use race. And anybody that is put into an automatic and permanent state of oppressor or oppressed is an insult to everyone. And that is not something that's tenable in the United States. Yeah, how disabling is that to teach a black child you are at birth a victim? You are at birth put behind the eight ball and incapable of achieving. That seems to me the very essence of holding a child back and assigning them some very racist assumptions. It absolutely is. I mean, what when you, we tell people that they can't do something, right. they won't even try. So if you're telling young um, black children that they are anybody outside of that white male oppressor, um, class or race that they can't do anything. We are setting our, our future up and our, our children who are our most precious resources. You're setting them up for failure. The kids are our future. Seriously. Like, bro, <laughs> this is the thing. Y'all, if you sit there and tell your kid, as a child, I was there going to believe what you say. Kids have faith outside this, outside of this world. So I was there going to believe everything that you say. Now, if you tell a kid at a young age that you can't be this because of the color of your skin, you just basically raising your child up to be a failure in life. Okay? And that's why my mindset is different. You have to teach a kid that, bro, you could be anything you put your mind to. If you want to be this, if you want to be that, regardless of the circumstance that you go through, you can do it. You just got to change your mind and realize that, okay, if I keep God in the center of whatever I want to do in life, I will be able to accomplish that. That's all you got to do. You ain't got, bro... It's not based off your skin color. Okay, for all these people that say, oh, well, if I if I qualify for all the qualifications for a job and a white person also applies for a job, the white person is going to get the job and not the black. Like, no, bro, that's so stupid. No, that is so, y'all living in the fantasy. Y'all living in the fantasy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that can't happen. But if, let's say if that, if that scenario did happen, you a black man, you got all the, all the qualifications for a job. And the white person that applied for the same position that you applied for, the white person ended up getting a job and you did it, but you had all the qualifications. Let's say that did a, let's say that scenario did happen. At the end of the day, you not you shouldn't look at it as oh it's because he's white. If I if it was me, I would look at that situation right there and look at no I'm gonna go even harder and I'm gonna go apply for a better company, a bigger company, and get paid way more than this company was trying to pay me anyways. You gotta look at your circumstances. Then also you gotta look at when you get rejected from something. That's not bro. Don't look at it as just oh I got rejected. No, look at it as God's protection. It was something within that job field that bro you wasn't fit for. Not even if you wasn't fit for it, it just it wasn't for you. Period. You know what I'm saying? You got to always look at life like that, bro. That's how I look at life. That's why I say no color, no white person, no, no Mexican, no, no, no color will ever stop me from being great. I don't care. No color will ever stop me from being great. And if once y'all change our mindset, that's when y'all will become successful. You would never be successful with the mindset uh, of, oh, I can't do this because I'm black. Like, no, you would never be successful with that mindset. You will stay working for another person. You will never have a business. You will never be successful. You will never be great in your life. And you go teach your kids to do the same thing. And it's going to be generation on generation on generation until one person teach that kid that you can be anything you want, no matter what the color of your skin is. And that kid is going to break the generation curse that you cause throughout your family. That's all I'm trying to say, bro. Seriously, y'all people need to wake up, man. And what 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 will we look back to right. as a society when we see that 
you know, these children have not succeeded. You know, Keisha, the proponents of critical race theory say that the detractors, the critics of critical race theory don't truly understand what it is and cannot define it. Do you feel you understand critical race theory and can define it? I think I have a good understanding. I think a lot of us do, but it's true. A lot of people don't truly understand what it is because they will say like, oh, it's just teaching uh, racial sensitivity or it's just teaching right. Uh, slavery history or Jim Crow. That's not what it is. It is dividing people up in different by by their race and telling them what their permanent uh, status is. Another really good point. And it's the proponents of critical race theory that don't understand it. Think it's these Trojan horse words of empathy and tolerance. You understand that at its depth, it's about oppressor and oppressed. It's not even about race in the end. It's this Marxist ideology. Really quickly, last question for you, Keisha. You've gone through an interesting transformation. I was reading about your your ideology change. You used to vote Democrat, and now you vote Republican. What changed for you? How did you make that journey? Um, the most significant change that happened was I'm a person of faith, woman of faith uh, in Christ, and God spoke to my heart and Amen. He said, your race, your skin color has become an idol in your life. And that totally changed my life because I stopped seeing myself through my skin color and I started seeing myself through my identity in Christ, which <laughs> is who I truly am. And it helped me really see the world more yeah. correct way. Imagine identifying according to your faith, your morals, your character, your actions, and not your shallow characteristics. It seems like an aspirational place, not just for a person, but for a country. Uh, Keisha, thank you so much for getting up with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, take care. Bro, this, 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 uh, look, stuff like this is what I like to see, okay? This is, this is exactly what I like to see. My people are starting to wake up up you know what i'm saying they starting to wake up bro they're they're not believing the lies that the media put out there for us to believe they're not doing none of that bro they're actually starting to wake up oh my gosh i knew this was gonna start they're actually starting to wake up bro they're not believing everything that the media put out there you know what i'm saying we gotta realize we gotta stand for you got we gotta stand for this stuff okay we gotta stand up and and speak regardless if we get canceled or not bro Regardless if we get canceled or not, the reason why Kanye canceled right now is because he was speaking the truth. And I'm not saying everything he said was okay and it was right. No, but half of the things he was saying and that the media didn't put out there, that man was speaking facts. We can't keep teaching our kids to have this victim mindset. They have this victim mindset. They will never be successful in life. Never. Never. They go carry this victim mindset all the way until their, all the way into their older ages. And they'll always believe in life. If you get, if they get pulled up by police, oh, so he pulling me over because I'm black. Like, no, you just ran a red light. He's not pulling you over because you're black. He, bro, police barely know the person they're pulling over. They can't always see in your window, especially if you got tents like me. They cannot go always just see in your window and say, oh, he's black. Finna, woo, woo. Like, no, bro. We got to, bro. We really got to stop with the race whole thing, bro. And black people stop playing this victim. Stop playing with the victim mindset stop having the victim mindset change your mindset i promise you change your mindset bro you can be successful every black successful business owner every black successful basketball player whatever all these black young uh all these young black people that's successful they changed their mindset they didn't have the mindset of a victim lebron Shaq, kobe mj no <laughs> like come on man y'all and y'all don't see this but y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Y'all seriously let me know what y'all think about this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.